Well, good morning. It's Wednesday morning. Welcome to our daily prayers. Here's a lovely verse from Lamentations, chapter three. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seek him. And so we put our hope in God. We seek him this morning. And I pray that you'll know his goodness. Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me. Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I arise. Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. Our reading this morning is still thinking about the old way of life, Galatians 5, 19. The acts of flesh are obvious, sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions and envy, drunkenness, orgies and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. And then at verse 24, those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. We talked about looking to God in our new life and not being dragged back by our old. And Paul in that final verse talks about the drastic nature of what we have to do sometimes to break our links with our sinful past. He uses a really strong word that we've crucified those passions and desires. We've taken them and we've nailed them to the cross and let them die. That's a very stark way of putting it but actually may well be necessary that we need to have that strength of action to stop things. Jesus himself talks about the drastic nature of what we need to do. Matthew 5 in the Sermon on the Mount, if your hand causes it to set you to sin, then cut it off. Sometimes we need to take drastic action to stop things. And sometimes that's thought through practical action as well as anything else, as well as a considerable resolve. So are you resolved to leave your sin behind? Are you going to crucify it? That's a very challenging and strong question for us today. But we do it not to spoil our fun, but because there is a better life in God that we may grasp hold of once we've let go of our previous life. A chance now for our own prayers. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.